And when I was cleaning out that bear cage and I looked and there was no lock on the door, like the bear could defo have charged Oh, me. God, I know, yeah. Uh, safety isn't high priority out there, no, is it? No, you just don't worry about it. You just think it's, you know, it's the BBC, they won't let you die. You touched on it, on it there. Um, work during the race. Was this something you looked forward to doing? Actually, yeah, I really enjoyed working um, because that was our moment to kind of get involved in the culture yeah. and meet people. And to be honest, it was a great way of finding out the best way to go next or the best yeah. way to get to the checkpoint as well. Um, and often they fed you as a, as a yeah. reward. Sometimes they gave us snacks, which was incredible. <laughs> oh, yeah, we, we often got, got fed well as well, which yes. is and bonus. sometimes they'd let you sleep there so you didn't have to and have sleep, like a yeah. night in a hotel or, or a night bush you could actually like sleep laying down which would be amazing wow. <laughs> oh, i love doing that the work what a luxury. is so fun <laughs> what a luxury <laughs> yeah. as if the, the that, work cloud, cloud yeah. forest um oh. yeah that, that was that was Fantastic. incredible place i will never forget work. that moment in my entire life mm. they're so these people they take you like they're strangers. They take you into their home. You literally sit like often in their homes. You eat with their family. You eat local dishes. They're often talking in you know their like their local tongue. Like it's incredible. What what a way to see a place. And before this, it would have been my worst nightmare if you'd said to yeah. me, stay in a homestay. I'd be like, dog on, no way in hell. <laughs> but actually, I recommend it. It is the way to actually find out about a place. What was quite funny was that it's quite difficult to actually organise these things. Um, so we often got like a, you know, uh, a brochure of some of the work that was available. But actually, like organising it isn't, isn't very easy at all because you get like, a, get like a phone number and you get an address, but you have no idea how far that address is away from your route at all. And you've all. got no phone. And you've got no phone. <laughs> So you've got to like borrow so people's phone. phone. Sometimes there's, you know, the workplace yeah. won't answer. So you've got to drop a text and then hope that they'll be there from a random yeah. number, and you'll never get a response because yeah. you've left you've left that person that you yeah. make their phone from. So and obviously yeah. you course. can't do phones, so it always fell to me. Oh yeah, you I can't speak that, any then. languages. And <laughs> it used to really, I didn't really like it. So it used to really like not frighten me, but it just wasn't a task that I enjoyed. So I'd be like, oh hell. I've got to call some else. You, you felt like it was dictated that you had to do it because of yeah because I struggle with phones yeah. Oh, there was a few times, weren't there, that we'd organise work, and um, we basically said like we'll be arriving at I don't know whatever time four in the morning. There was please, yeah there was one time that we would just text someone and we had no way of contacting them in any other way so we, we just, dropped a text and said sit there, we? i hope it's all right yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, and some people would be there and pick us up one one time we um chris in the cloud for us we missed him he was in town waiting for us we'd managed to kind of hike to his shack so that you know that didn't quite work uh, out but yeah yeah yeah, uh, yeah mm. it was fab wasn't it i love i love the work the work was great yeah i mean it wasn't easy work and it always seemed to have revolved around Shuffling pooping. poo. Every yeah. job was pooping. Time, I can't but... even believe it. Luckily, Chantal had given me some marigolds, so I was all right. <laughs> yeah. And of course, you had a budget of £1,400 each. Um, so surely that money that you made from work must have been vital to your budget. Do you think you could have made it to the end without working or just no chance? No Not a chance. Way. No, no, no. There were some weeks we actually couldn't afford to go any further. We actually had to work to get the money travel that same day so if we hadn't have worked we would have been out i think yeah so like we worked out a budget per day and say what what, what was it like, like six, 20 60 dollars or some 60 dollars between us say i think something like that i think it was <laughs> but lessons. often often the night bus would be a lot more than that oh yeah, yeah. anyway so you've, you've, you've blown your budget every day and that's before you've eaten and that's before, before you've eaten water bought water yeah you know, manage to get to that bus station. Sometimes you'd have to take a taxi or a. Do you remember when I borrowed that man's walk phone? Everywhere. And I didn't. Well, I didn't realise because I am so stupid. Um, but I, I, oh, I can't. No, I can't even tell you. But I kind of have to now. So I <laughs> thought that obviously South America. I thought it was like you know, basically I didn't get what the fact you... that. Oh God. I can't even admit it. Basically, <laughs> what happened is. We were in one country and I, and I was like phoning ahead to get work for like 
the next country, but obviously it was a different oh, country. Yes. But I didn't really understand that because obviously England is just one piece and South America is one piece. So I thought South America was mm. another, anyway, whatever. So then the man all of a sudden said to me, oh, well, you owe me X amount of dollars for that phone call. And I was like, what? And he was like, you're dialing another country. <laughs> so it's like uh-huh. unexpected bills like that that used to get me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. He was cross. <laughs> and a job that stood out for me was the bear feeding the bears at the Chipari <sighs> Reserve. Was that your favourite? I think so, yeah. I mean, it was it, it was such a surreal place to be um, and to be so close to those bears is quite amazing, really. And you really enjoyed oh. working with bears. I think it was the only time we managed to work with animals on that on that trip, which it was, was really nice. It was one of the best days of my actual life. Yeah. Oh, God, I just I could cry thinking about it. it I was like, I was as close to the bears as I am to Robbie. Like, had they not been so vicious, I probably could have petted them. They yeah. were incredible. And when I was cleaning out that bear cage and I looked and there was no lock on the door, like the bear could defo of charge. Oh, God, I know. Yeah. Uh, safety isn't high priority out there, no, is it? No, you just don't worry about it. You just think <laughs> it's, you know, it's the BBC. They won't let you die. Um, <laughs> and that's just the motto you've got to go with. <laughs> and just, yeah. Oh, it's always a medibac. Yeah, that was incredible. The bears were absolutely incredible yeah and then the cloud forest we chris um you, you saw it in the show he he was the guy who kind of ran the the place the, 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 the eco, eco lodge, um, lodge and yeah. he made us tea and we just we, we stood together just looking out over the cloud forest and it was just incredible wasn't it it was just mm. breathtaking yeah oh I think, yeah yeah oh, amazing yeah so <laughs> many about... highlights yeah i'm sure what about a job which someone else did that you saw on TV? Were there any that you wish you did? There was. I think it was It was kind of like a first come, first serve type of situation if it was out of the book. So people got to, some the of the turtles. animal stuff. Oh, yeah, the Joe turtles. Joe and Sam did the turtles. That, that was, was quite cool. That looks so incredible. Yeah. Yeah, that looked really good. Um, what, what else? What other jobs? I, I, don't, I think the turtle one stands out for me. We were we were really good though. That used to be the fuck. That used to literally be the first thing that we did because we knew we knew that we had to work, and obviously we wanted to work and earn the cash. But we really wanted to have so much fun. We wanted to try and work, you know, on a route that we were planning to take, so we didn't have yeah. to kind of go off um, and, and do something that we'd really remember forever and ever. So that mm. literally other couples would be like, right, this is the route we're going to. Let's get on the road. Whereas we'd always take five minutes. And we'd always plan the jobs first. It was the first task we ever did. So yeah, actually, yeah. I do feel like if you ask the other couples, they'd probably be more envious of the jobs we did because we just made jobs a priority, didn't we? Because we really wanted to We did, but pr- perhaps we prioritised the jobs that were like closest to our route because I know other people often spent sometimes more money to get out to a job and back on their route than they actually made on the, jo- yeah, yeah, on the job probably. sometimes. So. Yeah. Definitely but you kind of got to balance so. that with you know you've got to make an experience and yeah. you know do things that you'd never have the opportunity to do. 